Okay, so this question is a diagram question. There's probably other things going on here as well, but you know, I see this graph here, so I'm gonna call it a diagram question. So when there, anytime I have a diagram or a graph or a table or a chart or a shape, I like to take you know five seconds or so and take a look at that visual to make sure I understand what's going on. So it looks like with this particular graph, I have time on the x-axis, height on the y-axis, and over time, the height goes up and then goes down to zero. So let's look at the actual question. So the question says the graph of the equation h equals, and again, I just like to rewrite any time I have an equation. So h equals negative at squared plus bt plus c. So the graph of the equation h equals negative at squared plus bt plus c, which describes how the height h of a hit baseball changes over time, t, is shown below. So, you know, now that I've already taken a moment to understand the graph, and now that I have more information about what the graph is showing me, it makes complete sense. I am standing up upright. I have a baseball bat in my hand, right? So I'm going to hit the ball from a certain height, and then it's going to go up in the sky and go down until it hits the ground at some point in time in the future. So the rest of this question says, if you alter only this equation's C term, so C, which gives the height at time T equals zero, so C equals height at T equals zero, the alteration has an effect on which of the following? So at t equals zero, I see that the height is up here. I don't know what that value is, but I do know that it's equal to c, right? Because they just told me that. So if I were to change that c, it looks like, you know, either it would go higher or it would go lower on the y-axis. So let's see the answer choices. So answer choice or the options. Option one says the h-intercept. Well, yeah, because... You know, this is, I'm calling it my y-axis, but really it's my height axis. So if I were to alter that C value, it would change. Like I just mentioned, it either makes this point on the h-axis go higher or lower. So yes, it does, it does affect the h-intercept, right? So anything that does not have a 1 in it, I'm going to cross out. So G is gone and H is gone. Uh, option two, the maximum value of H. Well, here's my maximum value of H, right? This is the highest point that that baseball goes. So I would imagine if I were to start, let me just make some more space here so you can see it. Again, that's the max. If I were to start here instead of here, would that change the max? I think it would, potentially, right? If I'm hitting it with the same amount of strength. I think, you know, maybe my graph will look like this, just be a little bit lower. If I started that, if I move my h-intercept up here, right, the height would be higher as well. So I'm going to say yes to the maximum value of h is changed. So that gets rid of f and j, telling me that k must be the right answer. But let's just make sure I did not make any mistakes. Option three says the t-intercept. Well, the t-intercept is where the ball hits the ground. So again, if I'm hitting the ball from different heights, it's very likely, it's highly unlikely, I should say, that they all, no matter where I start from, will hit the ground at the exact same place. So I'm going to think that, you know, probably, depending upon where I hit the ball from, in terms of the height that I hit the ball from, it's also going to impact where the ball falls on the t-axis. So I like choice K for this one as the best answer. So keep in mind, anytime you have this uh, like three option type of question, there's a lot of opportunity here to cross answer choices out as you make decisions about which of the options you think are correct.